Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be setting up the dashboard page for the month of January. I know I'm a bit late, but I'm finally here. I actually wanted to put this video up on Monday, but I just could not do that. So anyways, we are here. First of all, <laughs> before we start off with the setup, thank you so much we reached 1000 subscribers today and i am so 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 grateful for that and yeah just i'm, I'm really grateful for all of your support so i just wanted to let you guys know about that now we'll start off with our planner setup for da uh, dashboard page for this month so my intentions and agendas this month obviously if you've been watching my videos regularly you know that one of my focuses for this month is the yoga with adrian 30 day challenge and that is what i wanted to add it here to yoga and i actually started it on the third so, so far, I guess I've finished like three, four, five, six, four days um, of the challenge. And I've been really, really liking it. So last year, I think towards the end, I moved my focus towards walking than yoga. And I had been doing yoga, but it was very like minimal. I was doing all like uh, five minute practices, 10 minute practices or yin yoga. And those, those are fine, but it's not as intensive as the uh, Yoga with Adrienne's YouTube challenges that she does every year because they're at least like half an hour. So that's a lot. So it's it's been really nice to like get back into it and to really like notice the difference with five minute, 10 minute yoga practices. I do notice a difference, but it's like over a period of time but with these like 30 minute practices it's just so intense that i can feel it while i'm doing it and also i think today was the first day wherein i i just felt a lot different like because i've been doing it from the last four days okay so we have this here and i wanted to use a few stickers from this wellness sticker book i really really love this one of the uh, first sticker box that i ever purchased from happy planner and they are quite good i love the color theme in this so for yoga every day i'm just gonna add like this heart uh sticker this is actually a symbol for like exercise that's okay I'm adding it here and the theme this year is move so i've been doing this challenge for like i think this is my fourth year i've noticed that usually it's it's a bit slow to pick up that pace i'd say by day six is when you'll really start feeling that intensity this time it's not like that i don't know if it's just me who's feeling like that because i'd read used uh like my yoga practices over the last year but i can definitely feel it to be a lot more intense it's nice in a way okay i'll talk more about that in uh, my uh, this thing i wanted to set up the calendar page but i haven't got the alicia sosa planner yet it'll be coming this weekend so i will do that in that uh in that planner and i'll talk to you guys more about uh this challenge and yoga in general by the way if you have any questions regarding yoga with uh, adrian's challenge if you have already started and you want to share your thoughts leave them in the comments below and i'll make sure to include it in that setup video it'll be nice for other people to hear your thoughts so this is one intention and then another one is go to bed by um, i think i'll use the same font i didn't have plans to but i love the way this looks uh, in combination with this cursive go to bed by 11 30 i 
I don't think I've been like doing this to the T but it's definitely a lot better than before and I don't mind that to be honest because I want this to be a slow and sustainable change with walking what I did last year was um, previous to that what I would do is like I'd go on some days which was like more than 10k steps and on some days I wouldn't even step out of the house so I I feel like uh, doing 2000 steps every day is better than doing one day like 10,000 steps per week so I I started doing that slowly and I feel it's working out really well so I just want to apply the same approach towards my sleeping habits too I don't mind it like I'm here I'm patient I I'm gonna change it over a period of time but the change I want it to be sustainable I can like force myself to sleep early and uh, for a week and then give up that is I think that's possible so I don't want that to happen that's why it is my intention but let's see how that goes as long as we are moving in the right direction I'm pretty good because I want this to be like a long-term habit like for my the future that I'm looking at I want this to be part of like uh, my habits so I'm here I'm here to take it slow but make it like a long-term lifestyle change rather than just a habit so that's that next is new things to try so uh for me this time would be this is not completely new for me i have done this in the past but it has just been like one-off things um i think i'll I'll probably like make it two times a week which is a facial like massage i bought the jade roller a couple of months back i had shared it with you guys and i've tried it a few times it does feel like really really good i think yeah like i said it's just been here and there i feel it would be nice to you know what i'll actually make it once a week because i've just done it twice or thrice till now so let's not oops let's not like aim too high probably like a weekend one day i can do this and for this like i have been using coconut oil as of now and that works uh because because of the season and in general i feel i don't know i think this uh it's because of the water too my skin is dry more like dry than usual so coconut oil is working pretty good uh probably like once i develop this habit if i feel the need i could bring in like more different types of oils so yeah that's that oops i wanted to add a sticker but i feel like it's gonna be too large now that i have written this i actually wanted to add this you know what let's just go on and go ahead and add it i think it should be fine let's actually cut this me time i could use that sticker somewhere else and put it oh yeah yep it looks fine then comes the monthly to do's first thing that i want to do which i still haven't done i've been just moving it along every single day which is to like plan for my finances you know it's just been that like new year mood and i thought i'll do it over the weekend weekend i ended up doing something else so i did not and i think it's it's better i do it tomorrow is like my finance check-in days probably i'll just do it uh, along with that so that's one and then second thing is like my sister's birthday was there last week and i haven't ordered a gift yet for her it's because i have seen a like i, I know what i want to get her but i'm just waiting the that company who i want to buy from they will be like launching some more products soon so i'm just waiting for those launches and see if i want to like 
get the new ones or get this one which i had seen previously itself so i'm just waiting for that and then my niece's birthday is there this month so i need to get the like order for her too and for her like i still have not decided what i want to gift her she will be five years old this january so it's a bit tricky but it's a lot better to give to, like to girls rather than boys that's just something that i've noticed so yeah then something else that i'm really excited about is to set up a planner station because i'm using a lot of planners even for me it's definitely more than i'm used to and it was nice to like um stack up my planners before or like uh put it on the bookshelf itself like how i usually place my other books but now because it's a lot and most uh, not most of them some of them in the stack is like the wider bounding ones that really doesn't look good stacked you know with the hard bound ones kind of looks nice when you see this uh side like i think it's called the spine of the book so it's nice to see this but with wider bounding it's not that great to see those wires so i i wanted to like set up a nice spot in my room there are like a couple of surfaces whether it's on my desk or there's another table and there are like two more drawers so i could probably put it on that too so i want to set up like a stand and have everything lay like uh visually i, I just want to make it look pretty so that is something i'm really excited about to do with this month actually i'm thinking of doing it this week so let's see how that goes then another thing that i want to do is clean the carpet i a few months back i um carpet or like rug i put that in my room because the weather was getting a lot cooler and i just wanted some like texture and warmth in my room so i put that i think it's nice to like clean it up regularly because you know I walk around on that a lot so that's something that i want to do this month and then next is i still haven't done this this and finances i think this is like my number one priority as of now which is create a morning and evening routine because as of now you know that this year my goal is to have a one hour slow living routine so right now i'm just like kind of doing whatever i want to but i do feel like it'll be nice to have like a reference where i've created this routine and i know like what i need to do and i can pick anything from that or um yeah basically I, i'll have some reference to look at right now it's just based on how i feel on that particular day i do it which is fine but i prefer to have like that guidance so we have that right now it has been yoga meditation walk so these are the three things that i'm doing as of now i definitely want to like include reading as part of my daily uh, routine too but let's see let's see in that video uh what i come up with okay so next comes the priorities so obviously first priority is yoga itself and i have mentioned this in few videos and i don't mind mentioning it again and again whatever your goal is try to like add it in as many places as possible that'll really help uh to like for your brain it'll really help and in yoga with edrin she says one thing in most of the videos she says that she's like the hardest part is to get here get on the mat so that is i feel that is the hardest part so if you kind of like put that in your brain uh in if you put it in your planner in as many places as possible it keeps the message keeps going into your head and to make that decision of going to the mat becomes a little bit less difficult so that's that and then next is meditation this has been nice actually i did not have any plans for this but you guys know that i did like a um the guidance like the 
oracle card reading guidance so it says like rest and relax to recharge and thrive so meditation is kind of like that does help me to rest and relax a bit so and anyways because i'm already on the mat for yoga i end up like doing a five minute or a 10 minute meditation too so that has been really good it definitely allows me to like not hurry up in the morning it automatically it automatically puts you in a nice like karma mood so that's there and the next thing is apple oh my god i was so good at this last month but i think this month like not so much in it's been six days in this month i think i have eaten apple on just like one or two days so i want that to be like part of my daily routine and my priorities too okay then next we move on to i am looking forward to section you know before like when i was planning for this video it was so nice i just noticed that like i was trying to think what can i put here and what can i put in new things to try for the past few months it has always been related to like planning or stickers or you know those kind of things which is nice i i really really love that stuff but because i have separate planner for that you know for my social media i kind of put like all the planning stuff in there and it was really nice to think like beyond that like what am i looking forward to beyond all of this stuff so i loved that um just that thought i don't know i just it was quite like fascinating to think about it so one thing that i am looking forward to is the challenge i'm um, if you if you are doing the yoga with adrian challenge and um you haven't like signed up for her email list or you know to receive the messages definitely do because that is quite nice it comes with like a message that is every day you get like a message so get like an a long email which talks a little bit about that particular day's practice and how does that impact not just in your yoga practice but also in other aspects of your life so i'm really looking forward to like you know each day going through all that and just exploring different parts of like life and yourself so that is really really nice and i want to write here as yoga with adrian and i loved the theme this year it is move which i feel like is like very necessary at this point in time because you know for the past like two years i i don't know the lifestyle change i feel movement has taken a back seat a bit because of like lockdowns and all of those things so i like i like it and like i said it's become like it's very intense from the beginning itself so i can i can feel it i can feel the change in approach and uh, the theme how it differs in 2020 the theme was home so it was a lot about uh your body like looking at your body as home and like resting and all of that and in 2021 it was breath so that was kind of like slowing down a bit and focusing on your mindset more this year like move is is like quite a visible the like the theme is you can just feel it so i'm really looking forward to um like more of that and just see read all those messages and stuff so another thing that i'm looking forward to is reading a little book of yoga I love this book one of my favorites i've been reading it like every single year i think I think since like two three years uh from last year i made it 
I made it a point to read it in January. So that is that is nice. It's perfect for this weather and this time of the year I feel like with all the motivation and stuff there is a high chance that you get a lot motivated, do many things that uh yeah with that energy like you do a lot more than you usually do and then after a certain point you kind of like give it up and let it go this reading this book really helps me to like slow down and not really uh like get everything done right now because of that motivation but rather like you know how i'm approaching this habit and this intention in my life so this book is a huge part of how i feel about all of these things so i'm really looking forward to that too and then i've actually already started reading it so this section is going to be for like shows and movies important dates like i already mark in my monthly calendar page so if you haven't watched that make sure to go check that video out so i don't see like a point in adding that again with this thing i'll use this sticker over here and write it as movie or shows so one uh, one show that i'm looking forward to watching is downtown abbey let me know if you guys have watch this i have like i started in the uh, a few years back i think two years back or something i don't know it really didn't click like i didn't i didn't enjoy it usually i love these type of like shows which are set many many years back i really like that but the show that didn't click i was watching one youtube video today it was about like all of these ancient uh, buildings and yeah like historic buildings and stuff and they referred basically that building was one of the buildings where this uh, show was shot so it just i just felt like i wanted to watch it let's see how i feel about it this time if it's not like catching up then i'll probably like let it go the reason why i want to try it again is because um Okay, let me add this and then explain. The Office show, it's like one of my favorites and I keep rewatching it every now and then. And this Office too, like the first season is a little bit slow, is a little bit hard to get through. I think the real like magic begins from second season on- onwards. And it has become one of my favorite shows. So I'm just thinking is Downton Abbey like that? Do you feel like you need to watch some episodes to get into that mode and then you'll start liking it. So I'm going to give it a try this time. If it doesn't work out then I'll probably like let it go. Uh these are the two shows. One movie that I really really want to watch is Lutera. The other day I came across uh that song Montare. My friend sent it to me and oh my god like it is it is just so beautiful it's become one of my favorite songs like ever and i was watching the video of that song uh it's it's there on youtube like full video song not the lyrical one the lyrical one is nice too but i like the actual video song and it looked so beautiful i loved it i loved all the characters that were shown in that song and i just felt like i want to watch that movie and this movie too it is set I think in the British uh rule time it, it's definitely like uh set in a 100 years back or like 70 years back or something something like that I'm not really sure about the exact uh time period but it's either 1800s or early 1900s so I want to watch this I don't know on which platform it is available yet wherever it is available i don't mind like paying it for one month you know subscription for one month but i do want to watch it if you guys know like where this movie is let me know and i'll i'll add it to my like i'll i'll bookmark it i i want this to be like a weekend wherein i don't really have a lot to do just take like saturday afternoon completely off or sunday afternoon completely off and just enjoy the movie so 
I think out of all the three, this is something that I'm really excited about. Office, I've already started watching. I watched it like during last week. I finished the first season. Um, I'm also watching a show called Mom, which is like, I think there's one episode left out of all seasons. That's one of my favorites too. I rewatch it a few times. I thought I'll finish that and then get back to Office. So yeah, that is regarding if you have any like show recommendations, comedy ones, let me know. I want no matter like what I'm watching, I always like to have some kind of comedic show like available with me wherein I'm, you know, like I'm watching it midway because it's just nice. Like it refreshes your mind a lot and yeah, it's nice. So right now it is going to be office. Okay, so this one will be for my full moon message or like reading. I know you, many of you guys were like interested in knowing about like new moon and full moon routine. I will do that video probably like in February, early February or like mid Feb. I'll do that video because this month is like pre planner heavy and uh, Alicia Souza planner is coming too so there's a lot like to set up I'll definitely get to this okay so we have this good to go habit tracker I am willing to give it a try again because I will show you guys so this is my content planner and I have like set up this um habit tracker it's not like a habit tracker it's just to see like uh on the days that i am doing these things because it's not necessary that i need to do all of these things every single day but it's nice to see okay on which days i have done and which days i haven't done for example comments i typically do it every day like when i'm back from my walk that is when i'm when i'm just resting uh, I go through the comments and I reply to you guys but there are some days where I don't get that chance like many things are going on so the on the first and the second like there was a lot of gap and I didn't do it even on the 30th and 31st so it, it had like built up and I don't like leaving a lot of gap to reply to comments so it's really nice to see like uh, you know the days on which I'm doing and I'm not doing so I like that approach and I'll try my best to keep the same approach for this one too because um, I don't want to fuss about like getting a streak making sure I do it on every single day that is not my goal at all my goal is to just <laughs> I don't know what my goal is with this but I'm willing to give it a try this time if it doesn't work out I'm gonna go back to creating like a nice scene here with all my stickers so yeah let's let's see let's give it a try in this month so first thing yoga you see here right like how I'm putting it in as many places as possible that's what I mentioned about then it is meditation so I've noticed that whenever I do yoga, I most of the times I end up like meditating. So that is, it's kind of nice. It's got that ripple effect. Then I want to write here as apple. And then it is walk. I'm loving my walks. It's, it's very, very cold, but it's hard like for the first like five, 10 minutes and then it's fine. So then it is go to bed by 11 30 and then reading and then tidy up so i'll see like i don't really remember when i've done what i know yoga i've started from the third and meditation too the others i'll just go through my daily planning pages and have a look at it i think we are done with this setup i hope you enjoyed watching if you did please give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and yeah guys thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye